life on the Red Horse Ranch. <laughs> Now let's join our band of singing cowboys on Red Horse Ranch. The boys are still wondering who fired the shots which caused Rose's horse to run away with her. Only Steve Bradford's timely appearance averted what might have been a tragedy when he pulled her from the runaway horse. The mystery of who fired those shots seems to perplex Alabama more than it does the rest of the boys because we find them in the bunkhouse enjoying the rhythm of Arizona's banjo. much tonight. I guess not. Still worrying about that horse runway with Rose yesterday, I guess. But I'm uh, telling you, Alabama, there wasn't nothing we could do about it. Now, how do we know Blackie would fly off like that? Well, that's the gentlest mare on the Red Horse Ranch most times. Sure. Anyhow, Rose is all right. Bradford got to her in time to save her from getting hurt. Say, oh. does Rose's dad know about the runaway yet, Alabama? No. I promised I wouldn't say anything about it. You better not find it out. he would be better than a wet hand. Listen, keep quiet, you fellas. Uh, Tex, yeah? sing something kind of soft like, will you? I've got a powerful lot of thinking to do. Well, all right, I'll sing Rockin' Alone for you. Yeah. Sitting alone in an old rocking chair, I saw an old mother with silvery hair. She seems so neglected by those who should care. Rocking alone in an old rocking chair. Her hands were calloused, unwrinkled and old. A life of hard work was a story they told. And I thought of angels as I saw her there. Rocking alone in an old rocking chair. Bless her old heart, do you think she'd complain? Though life has been bitter, she'd live it again. And carry that cross that is more than her share. Rocking 
alone in an old rocking chair It wouldn't take much to gladden her heart Just some small remembrance on somebody's part A letter would brighten her empty life there Rocking alone in an old rocking chair I know some youngsters in an orphan's home Think they owned heaven if she was their own They'd never be willing to let her sit there Rocking alone in an old rocking chair I look at her and I think what a shame The ones who forgot her she loved just the same And I think of angels as I see her there you didn't seem to help Alabama much, Tex. He's still thinking. At least that's what he calls it. <laughs> hey, Alabama, why don't you go down and talk it over with Red? He'll sympathize with you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I saw Red back in the pasture corral this evening. Where'd you find him, Alabama? Oh, uh, oh Red? Uh, you know, to tell you the truth, I didn't find him. I looked for him all morning, trailed him for a little ways, and then his tracks plum disappeared. I sure can't figure out where he went. Hey, let me get this straight of this. Yesterday you said Red jumped out of the corral and ran off. That's right. You couldn't find him today. You're right again. Only he's down there now. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, Bob, but it's the gospel truth. When I rode in at noon, there was Red in the corral looking as innocent as a deer. Well, it looks to me like everything's going loco around here. Come on, boys, let's see what we can do about it. Let's sing a song. They laid Jesse James in his grave. It was on a Wednesday night, the moon was shining bright. They robbed the Glendale train. And the people they did say for many miles away was the outlaws, Frank and Jesse James. Jesse had a wife to mourn all her life. The children, they are brave. Was a dirty little coward that shot Mr. Howard and they laid Jesse James in his grave. It was his brother Frank that robbed the gal to bank oh. and carried the money from the town. Oh, man. It was in this very place that they had a little race for the shot Captain Sheets to the ground. Damn. Jesse had a wife to mourn all her life. The children, they are brave. Twas a dirty little cow that shot Mr. Howard and they laid Jesse James in his grave. It was on a Saturday night what happened, that Jesse Bob? was at home oh, talking man. to his family brave yeah. Yeah. when the thief and the coward the little Robert Ford laid Jesse James in his grave. Jesse had a wife to mourn all her life the children they are brave was a dirty little coward the shot Mr. Howard and they laid Jesse James in his grave. Jesse had a wife to mourn all her life Children, they are brave. Was a dirty little cow that shot Mr. Howard, and they laid Jesse James in his grave. <laughs> yeah, that was a story. Yeah, I wish Rose could have heard that. She always did like it. Well, say, come to think of it, Tenderfoot, you better get on up to the house. Oh. I just saw Steve Bradford tie his horse out front. Steve Bradford. Rose is having company. Yeah. Well, Bradford's in good with Rose now, for sure. Since he saved her from that runaway horse. I declare to gosh, I can't figure that hombre out. Steve Bradford's been buying up every bit of loose land in the whole country. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. and before you know it, he'll have bought out the Red Horse Ranch, and Rose and Dad Carter will be packing out of the country. And we'll be out of a job. Oh, well, I can tell you this much. There's a lot about that land grabber that we don't know. You mark my word. Don't make no difference if he did stop Rose's horse yesterday. Any cowpoke could have done that. Well, yeah, sitting here fun. looking at Alabama sort of made me sleepy. <laughs> Let's sing one more and turn in. Uh, how about oh. Cowboy Jack? Yeah. 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 He was just a lonely hey, cow. Hey, tenderfoot. Come on outside. I want to talk to you. Hey, for guy's sake, what's got into you, Alabama? Oh, well, go ahead like with your singing. Out. You ain't bothering us. Well, Come on, Tenderfoot. Well, Alabama's sure on a peck about something. Oh, 
What's on your mind, Alabam? Anything I can do? Well, Tenderfoot, if what's on my mind is true, we can both do plenty. Let's go down to the corral. Is it about Red? He's back in the corral today. No, you follow me. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Now, about here is where we were standing when we heard them gunshots that scared Rosa's horse, ain't it? Yes, about here. Rosa just rode up north on Blackie. Well, now, where did them shots come from? What? Can you recollect that? Why, as near as I can remember, they came from... Well, over that way, mm -hmm. maybe in that clump of trees, but... Well, them shots scared Rose's horse, yes. made her run away. And then Steve Bradford caught up with her and pulled her off a of blackie, yes. maybe saving her life. Tenderfoot, where'd Bradford come from when all that was happening? Well, now, I can't just say, Alabama. Well, I'll tell you. There's only one place he could have been without us seeing him all the time. He'd have had to be in those trees on down the draw there ways. Yes, I guess you're right, but... The man that fired them shots could have rode on down and come out just where Bradford did, couldn't he? But you don't mean that... That's that... just what I mean. Whoever fired them shots did it intentionally what? to scare Rose's horse and make it run away with her. And that was... Steve Bradford. But, but I can't... Well, it couldn't be. Steve's the man that saved her. Sure, he saved her. That's just what he wanted to do. But I still don't see... What reason would he have for wanting to do that, well, Alabama? can't you see, Tenderfoot? Now that Steve saved Rose's life, he stands in good with her. Yeah. He figures that she can get her dad to do just about anything that she wants. Oh, I see. And Steve's going to ask her to help him get Dad Carter to sell out the red horse. Yeah. Oh. It don't seem possible a fellow would risk her life just to stand in good with her. Then Bradford doesn't care about Rose at all. Alabama, whatever you want to do about it, I'm with you. I knew you would be, boy. But remember, this is just between you and me. Yeah. We might be able to do something. Cheyenne said Bradford was up the house tonight. Uh, that must be him yeah. riding away now. Yes, well, we might as well get back to the bunkhouse. Alabama. What? Wait a minute. Isn't that someone over there? What? Why, sure enough. Oh, it must be Rose. Now, what do you well, suppose... maybe uh, we oughtn't to bother. Uh, uh, is that you, Alabama? Oh, yes, Miss Rose. Uh, I didn't figure on finding you out here. Why, you ain't been crying, have you? Oh, I just Rose. couldn't help it. Poor Daddy. He feels so bad, and oh, I didn't want him to see me like this. Well, uh, has something more gone wrong? If it's that Bradford, we'll settle this in a hurry. Oh, hold on, Tenderfoot. That won't help none. Oh, but of course it's not Bradford. I owe him everything now after, after the way he saved my life. Oh, I, I feel so terrible. Oh, no. Steve just told Dad that he's got to have his answer about selling the Red Horse Ranch by tomorrow night. Steve wants me to stand by him, but, but I just can't. Rose, someday you're going to be powerful glad now that you stood by the old ranch. But, but Alabama, I'm, I'm afraid I can't help. Dad's got to sell. <laughs> It looks as though everything's playing right into Bradford's hands, doesn't it? Poor old Sam Carter may have to sell. Is Alabam right? Did Steve Bradford intentionally fire the shot which made Rose's horse run away in order to make a hero of himself and win her favor? There's a lot to learn about Bradford, so be sure you're listening.